Hey everyone, Stephanie with American Muscle, and I'm taking a closer look at two clutches from Exidy. They're new and improved Mach 500 and Mach 600 clutches that now have a grouped pressure plate, available for late 01 to 04 GTs and Mach 1s, and 99 to 04 Cobras. Exidy has been around the clutch game for well over 60 years, and yes, I said that correctly, over 60 years, and they produce high quality products for a wide range of applications. With all of this experience, it's hard to imagine that Exidy is anything but one of the leading manufacturers of both OE and aftermarket clutches, and all of which are built from the ground up. Be sure to check out the full lineup of Exidy products for your Mustang just by heading back to the AM website. So taking a quick second to look at the two clutches I have here with me, I will say right off the bat that these are very nearly the same Mach 500 and Mach 600 clutches that you guys already know. This means that these clutches still have that sprung hub design that's going to be easier on both your leg and your drivetrain. And if you like to drive your Stang on the street, you're happy to see this quality in a clutch. The Mach 500 Stage 3 clutch still has an organic disc that is designed to give the durability and performance of a racing clutch, but with the drivability and performance of a stock clutch. And this is obtained through maintaining the use of the organic material disc and using a high clamp load pressure plate. Now what all of this means is that you can have a better performing clutch that maintains the smooth engagement that a stock clutch has. This clutch is perfect for the moderately modified Mustang that sees some hard driving or track time. The Mach 600 Stage 4 clutch switches to the Sarah Metallic disc with a high clamp pressure plate that offers the ability to handle high torque levels and still give you that crisp engagement. Engagement with this clutch is going to be quick, but you won't have to fight that heavy pedal feel that you'll get from an unsprung clutch. Forced induction guys or heavily modified Mustangs will be looking to this clutch to handle the amount of torque that they're producing. So we just talked about a lot of the similarities, but the difference with these clutches is going to be this feature right here, which is a grooved pressure plate. The grooved pressure plate will offer more holding power than a standard smooth pressure plate, which means that these clutches will be able to hold more torque than the traditional stage three and stage four clutches can, and all without a huge jump in price. So when it comes to installing a clutch, we usually recommend having a high level of mechanical expertise since it's not really a job for the first time wrencher. You're probably looking at about four hours from start to finish, and you always have the option of sending the car to a professional for the install. Keep in mind that both of these clutches require a strict break-in period of about 500 miles of city type driving and shifts below 4,000 RPM. Adhering to this break-in procedure will only ensure and prolong the life of your new clutch. So if you're looking to replace the clutch in your Mustang, be sure to check out these new options from Exidy that offer a great bang for your buck by enabling the lower stages to handle higher foot-pounds of torque. And they're exclusively available here at AmericanMuscle.com.